On October 1st, San Luis Obispo County banned plastic grocery bags throughout the county at large grocery stores and retail chains. I asked some locals how they've been affected. Um, it's a little bit of a hassle at first because I keep forgetting my bags, but uh, I know it's been coming for a long time because I'm from Northern California originally, mm -hmm. and they've been doing that for a while already. So I've got plenty of bags, extra bags. The ban affects more than 300 local grocery stores, pharmacies, and retail outlets. Shoppers must use their own reusable cloth bags or buy paper bags at 10 cents per bag. The new ordinance was issued by the local waste management authority. Stores that cover more than 10,000 square feet must comply or face civil and criminal penalties. More than 300 billion plastic grocery bags are used each year in the U.S. alone, and only 5% of those are ever recycled. I think it's a good thing to do for the environment, and especially here so close to the water. I've been on a couple of beach cleanups and seeing how many plastic bags end up tangled up in the seaweed and stuff and like birds choke on them and die. I think it's a joke. And I think people are going to buy the bags whether we need them or not. Or, you know, people come into the store. Some of us work, we don't have all day long to put bags in our car when we do. We don't remember them. Um, I personally don't even use them anymore. I just put stuff in the car and put it in my car and put it in and out. An organization called the Save the Plastic Bag Coalition filed a lawsuit to block the new ordinance in court, but the local judge ruled that the ban was legal. It is still unclear what will happen to leftover plastic bags, but our local Target told the Tribune that its unused bags will be sent to other Target stores. Cities, counties, and states across America have already banned the plastic bag or are considering to ban them themselves. Robert Griffith, Cat Flag.